What's going on? It's your boy Flair and today I'm going to be breaking down and explaining step by step my trading a SP reset to a Tory video. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Starting things off, I traded a SP reset for a bunny hoodie. Process behind this, all I have is an SP reset. There's nothing that I'm really looking for. I'm just looking to see what's the best offer I can get. And around, like right now, bunny hoodie, you could have got the Zushi out of your bunny hoodie. Maybe even a girl if you're lucky, but I know you could have gotten the Zushi out of bunny hoodie. So I was basically trading the SP reset for Zushi. That was my thought process behind this one right here. Now, right here, I was wasn't expecting this. This is a bunny hoodie for a fruit bag, but like I said, bunny hoodie was basically like sushi. Zu I mean, yeah, basically sushi. Sushi is basically a fruit bag, so it was kind of fair, fair. And right here is when a W starts to come in. This guy just offered me a Gora for a fruit bag. I wasn't expecting that. Like I said previously, I was looking for a Zushi, but I waited my time and I got a Gora out of that. So that was the thought process behind that right there. This was a big, big W right here. Around this time, Gora, I believe Gora was like just Bang. If I'm being completely honest, because Bang wasn't where it's at right now. So getting Bang jumps in by Sento huge w i found this dude in the um the um trading hub i didn't find this guy from discord like i told you guys it's a whole bunch of idiots roaming around the trade hub stay away from discord sometimes you're gonna get better trades and right here is what i mean by making good flips i basically got a free drum because i had gura and then i went and got fame by sento and i got um drums then I traded Fang and by Sinto for that Gora again. Right here, Gora for drums, get high. Honestly, this is a pretty fair trade if I'm being completely honest with you. Wasn't a huge W for me, wasn't a huge L. Seen I hit the dude with the, this for a bit cheese. Hey, if you're out there, you can't get no trade, just say it's for a bit, you might get a trade. Maybe, maybe not. Don't, hey, don't tell nobody I told you though. All right, I don't know what he's talking about now. We don't care. Okay. So yeah, I traded my bad. So that here I got, I traded that here and I got three fruit bags. And then I traded three fruit bags to get Edo. So I basically went from here to Edo. That is a really good flip that you guys can still do to this day. If you have PA, get your three fruit bags and then do the three fruit bags. I'll advise you to get a Goro over Ido now. This Ito, Ido, whatever kind of dropping. But yeah, that's just a W flip right there. Common sense. Again, now I have Ito. Now this was when like this fruit was like you could get a Goro and PA for it. Now don't try to do that. It's more than likely not going to work. Again, you see, I hit the man with that. This is for a bit cheese. Hey, I don't want to be that YouTuber to tell you this, but if y'all not getting no trades and you want to hit them with some cheese, tell them this is for a video. Tell them you're recording. Tell them anything. Tell them you got other offers, so they better hurry up. Basically, put some pressure on them to make sure you get your trade by any means possible. Like, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. You guys have to apply pressure okay do whatever it takes i don't care what you gotta do just make sure you get that w trade i'm all about making sure y'all get them w trades i might come out with a book on how to get w trades and finesse people if y'all really want it but yeah you see here apply that pressure for him he don't have nothing to do but accept that trade all right again here i go with this like i'm honestly i don't know who started this it wasn't me but he ate for three fruit bags around this time was completely stupid he ate was worth two now all of a sudden it's worth three you see right there i traded he ate to get those three fruit bags and then like i said again making a w flip getting those three fruit bags for a fruit above he ate you know i've been doing the he ate for three fruit bags so intentionally i was trying to go 
string fruit for Hiei and Gura. Okay, and then I was gonna break my Hiei down for three fruit bags and do it again. Okay, now <laughs> back here, like I said, Hiei, break it down, get three fruit bags. I'm not gonna keep explaining every time I do this because I did it a lot because it was just a W, like a huge W doing this. You can honestly still get a huge W by doing this. So, yeah, traded my um, um, PA down for three spare bags. Now we're trading. Oh. Okay, so now we're trading a Goro for just a Ito. This around the time is pretty good considering it was Goro and ads for it. And I got it without any ads. So it was pretty nice. Then again, I'm trading another three fruit bags to get me another Goro. So this will put me at string fruit and lightning fruit. Again, not much thought process behind that. Just trying to have two legendary fruits. This, uh, now, I consider this a W. Because they're like, sometimes they just be overpriced. Like, usually this will not be enough for some reason. But like I said, backstory actually. I've been, I was trying to get this trade for a while. A while I was trying to get this trade. I couldn't find it. What I say in my trade help video is come into trade hub, hold out a sign and wait. That's exactly what I did. And I got a mirror. You can see my reaction. We got a mirror. Like, like I was no Discord. I was surprised right. I got that mirror considering how long and how bad it was going. Hey bro, did they just put an ad on my own video? Okay. Now this right here now a lot of people was like hey yo what like what they were confused on this and honestly I was confused on this again I did not find this guy from um, discord and also you can see look look at when the last time this man traded 124 days this man had no clue what the current value was so if I'm being completely honest I don't want to be that youtuber to tell you to do bad things but if you see somebody who haven't traded in a hundred something days, finesse them. I'm just being completely honest. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Finesse them and get you a W trade. I'm, I'm not I'm not beating around no bushes. I'm telling you guys the real deal, the real spill, all right? You don't have to be nice to these kids. Trading is not about being nice. You don't want to trade people and do no fair trades. No. All your trades should be you finessing somebody or scamming them. Don't actually scam them. I'm talking about scam them for a value. Now, Gummo and Horu honestly was not going to give me anything good at all. I had a better chance with a dark root than those two. So that's the process behind that if I'm being completely honest. CB's core for Zushi. Um, this was alright. I honestly, I've seen Agora for CB's core. But that was like a while laughter. So I was like, you know what? A CB score to a legendary fruit, I don't mind. This honestly wasn't even W. I consider it to be kind of fair, in my opinion. Um, what's the next trade we do? Oh, this trade. I Some dude, like, he needed Book of Spirits. You see his level. Man, probably just going to Alabasta, Desert Kingdom, trying to get Hockey V2. He needed the book. He brought an SP reset. I got the book. Give me the SP reset. Nothing too special about that trade right there, if I'm being honest. Now, Dark Root, Jester Hat, followed by Sinto and Suna. Honestly, it was just supposed to be Jester Hat and Dark Root for Suna. Around the time, this would be good, but he added by Sinto, so for me, that was a W. Now, right here, obviously, Zushi's on the Gora, so you're gonna have to do Zushi and ask to get one. I was able to just add a SP reset and get by with it. Again, nothing too special about this, nothing that you guys really need to know. Kind of a basic trade. Soon up for Gora and okay. This again, a good trade. Some people trade Suna and Gora for just he ate. Always able to get White Beard's cape out of it, which surprisingly has some value. You will be surprised what people would offer for that cape. Like SP for Mar SP reset for Marine cape or something that goes on. Obviously, Croc cape is high up there. But, you know, you wouldn't think this Zen Cape would have that much value, but hey, these people really want it. Okay, what if, what am I talking about now? Oh, I'm just recapping all the trades that were going on. So you got, oh, 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 right here, right here. So, I traded, remember I got that White Bear Cape. I traded 
that in by Sinto for a um, Zushi, which again, it was a good trade because then I traded that Zushi for a fruit bag. So basically, white bear caping by Sinto for a fruit bag. I think that's honestly, this might not even be a W. It's kind of fair. If I'm being completely honest, nothing major going on right there. Okay, now he ate in a spare bag for um, string fruit. Yeah, so nothing too major going on in this trade. I could have broke he down for three fruit bags again to start doing that cheese, but I really didn't feel like it, so I just wanted to make a jump up to Ito. So that's what I did. Now again, I have Ito, and I'm trading that for Goro and Trident. Again, W trade. Now, Trident was not inflated like it is right now. I don't know why Trident is so inflated. inflated. I get it's a good weapon, but just go farm a boss. So yeah, Goro for and Neptune's Trident for my string fruit. Kind of a W. Again, hear what I'm talking about, a flip. I traded my string fruit. I got lightning fruit plus Trident. Then I just traded my string fruit for lightning fruit again. No, my lightning fruit for string fruit again, and I basically gained the free trident. That's a, here, I'll pause it so you guys can see. That's called trading down and then trading back up to make profit. My profit was the trident. Hopefully, you all understand that. Um, now, if I'm being completely honest, this was kind of an L. Like, during this time, my mindset was like, all right, I'm sick of this. I was trying to get a better ad than Cutlass, but I wasn't getting it. And like I really was getting tired of waiting for trades, so I just settled for something. You guys don't want to do that if you're not getting trades. Just take a break. Me, I was not taking a break. I wanted to get this over with, so I settled and got a crap cut list. I could have got more, honestly, if I'm being completely honest. So yeah, this was low key an L, if I'm being honest. Not even gonna lie. And then I traded my Trident and cut list for Suna. Again, Trident was not like inflated how it is right now so this is kind of a w trade or fair you know again nothing too special about this trade right here now right here this was an l but you will see what happened after to make it a w but like for some reason magu was like you couldn't do mirror and another fruit for magu. it just wasn't working you needed three fruits so I bit a bullet and traded Asuna along with Mira and Goro for it, for Magu. If I'm being honest, this trade right here was an L for me, but I do a flip after this, which makes it a W as you guys can see. So like the flip I made, and I got a string fruit. Like I said, Ido was above Goro at that time. PA is obviously above Suna. So I basically gained value off of this flip. Backstory on that to let you guys know that's why I did that. Again, another L for your boy Flair. What the f is this? I honestly could have got way more out of than the blue sea beast armor. But like I said, my mind was like, I'm tired of this. I'm just trying to get it over it, get it secured. So I took that armor. Then I traded. Now this was actually kind of a W for me. SP reset and dark root for some C beast armor. What? You know what I'm saying? Nobody cares about C beast armor like that. That was a W trade in my opinion. I will take that gladly. Now this is when things get spicy, okay? If I'm being completely honest with y'all, I'm trying. I'm as I'm recording, I'm trying to get this trade. Mira and Goro for Mago, and I cannot do it so i was lucky to do it right here again i found this dude in trade hub because i was going around discord and nobody was having it so yeah i didn't even need to hit this dude with the i'm recording cheese it just happened you know what i'm saying bam we got our magu they remember i still had that he ate and i did that he ate dark root sp for a goro um, honestly, it's kind of a W. I'll take that. Now, now I'm gonna have to explain this next trade because I know some people was like, "Nah, bro, how did you do that? Nah, there ain't no way." Okay, Magu and Goro for Tori. Now, usually, Magu. Okay, let me put it like this: Mera is above Goro in terms of value. Okay, 
most of the time people do Magu plus Mira or Tori plus Ad. I didn't have a mirror, so I couldn't get Tori and Ads, but I had the fruit under mirror, which is my thought process. I have something under mirror plus Magu. I know I can't get Tori and Ads, but I should be able to get a Tori. I offered a few people, didn't get it. I waited. It honestly didn't even take me that long. It took me longer to get Magu for Mira and Goro than it did to get this Tori, if I'm being completely honest. So that was my thought process behind that. I knew I could get this trade, I just had to wait for the right person. And as you guys can see, your boy Flair walked out of there with a Tory. So that really was my thought process, you know, with trading. I thought I should break some of these trades down for you guys. Some of them didn't really need the explanation because it was just like the basic trade. But some of them I have to give you guys a backstory and some thought process. So yeah, if you want to do this, let me give you guys some advice. This is going to be the best advice you get. I'm telling you right now. First things first. You get your trade by any means possible. Okay. If they're taking too long on a trade. Or they're, um, you know what I'm saying. Thinking about it for too long. Or something like that. You tell them that somebody else is joining you. So they need to hurry up. Alright. It may not work. Most of the time it does work. You do this so you can put pressure on them because if you don't put pressure on nobody they're not going to feel the need to hurry up and trade you but if you're putting pressure on them they're going to trade you because they're not going to have time to think and all that they're going to panic because you might end up trading with somebody else you want what they got so they trade with you another one hey you don't even have to be a youtuber to make this cheese all right they ask you to add or something like that you don't want to add Hit them with the, your boy flare cheese. Just be like, nah, you see, this is for a video I'm recording. I can't add. It may work. It may not work. It works for me. If I'm being completely honest, I need everybody to start doing W trades. So I will tell y'all that secret. Lie to them and tell them you're recording. Now, look, everybody can't go doing this. Because like, if all if all y'all start doing this, no one's going to believe it. Okay? The whole GPU trade hub service say, nah, I can't add, I'm recording. So, like, everybody shouldn't do it. But if you're watching this video early, then, hey, you might, you might, you might get away with it, okay? But, yeah, boys, that's really all for this video. I thought I should, you know, inform you guys because you seen me do the trades, but you guys didn't understand the backstory to the trades. So, that's what this video was for. Hopefully, you boys enjoyed this. I love y'all as always. I'll uh, see y'all in the next video. Road to 3K. Update 5 should be near. It's your boy Flair and I'm out. Peace.